guys and happy Saturday. It's a bit early. It's four minutes past eight. I'm not at work today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, John's gone to work though. And uh, I am waiting for the Asda man. Asda man is coming between eight and ten. I've had the email to say I have substitutions, uh, but I've not had the you know, the ones where they give you an estimated delivery slot. But yes, that is happening today. Uh, I have started editing the Gdansk vlogs. I can't believe how much we've squeezed in this week. You know, this time last week I was on my way to work. And then I've been to another country. I've walked a bajillion steps. I've come back, <laughs> worked two days and it's Saturday again so it's been a bit of a blur this week so it's quite nice sitting here editing the Gdansk vlogs just kind of remembering what we did taking it taking it a bit more on board um, but yeah that is what I'm doing today's plans uh, this afternoon we are going to a family fun day that's organized by uh, one of the associations that John's a member of. Um, we are meeting up with uh, my niece and her husband and her three little girls who are stinking cute. So they are technically my great nieces, but that makes me sound like I'm 90 um, when I say I have great nieces. Uh, but yeah, that is today's plan. It's meant to be really sunny today. It's a little bit chilly sat here with the window open. But I'm hoping the overcastness will burn off and it will turn into a beautiful day. Right, that's my rambling. I'll see you in a bit. As the man's been, driver was really quite ratty with me. Uh, six substitutions, three have gone back, three have stayed. I'm about to record a food haul. But yeah, I'm a really, I'm, I'm actually quite pissed off about the level of custom service I've just received. Uh, yeah, you know, substitutions happen, that's part of the home delivery process, but the guy was actually rude. Um, great. Right, I'm going to record a food haul. Hey guys, so shopping is like 80% put away. Neighbour is making some crazy noise in the garden. At first I thought they were like cutting down trees, but they're actually working on a motorbike and it's so loud. Um, anyway. Darwin and Gilly are barking at the neighbour because they're not impressed. <laughs> yes, my neighbours hate me. Uh, yeah, so about 80% of the shopping has been put away. I'm going to say I am boiling up some pasta. Trying to not freak out about what I'm going to take for this picnic. Because kind of like my snacky bits are no longer. And obviously because we've been on holiday last week. I haven't got the greatest selection of like things to make up with, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can put things together and make a feast and I don't really have that. Um, but yes, that is where I am. That is what I'm doing with two barking dogs in the background. Outfit sorted for today's activities. Um, basically, Joe Brown's vest top. This kimono, which I used to wear before I lost any weight, but so it's a size 26. But it's a kimono, it doesn't matter. Um, I got it from Simply B. I've got some pink tailored shorts from Asda like two summers ago, and my gold Birkenstocks because they're super comfortable. Um, and I'm just kind of pottering around. John should have finished work by now, uh, but things never go to plan, do they? Um, so I'm just kind of getting things ready for us to go out. But I wanted to show you the super cute picnic bag I've got. How cute is this? Um, ignore. This is the remainder of Gilly's breakfast. Since we've got back from Gdansk, Gilly is punishing us by not eating his food properly. Uh, Darwin is eating perfect, perfectly fine. Gilly also threw up the day after we came home. But he's not unwell it's uh, they were very spoilt by the lady that was looking after them and he was fed chicken and roast potatoes and all the things that we don't feed them on 
an everyday basis. So he's kind of, the way I explained it to, to John, it's like you've been eating burgers for a week and then mummy gives you a bowl of kale. Kale is nutritionally better for you, but you don't want it. So he's not eating his breakfast, or yet half, but he's not eating it all. So that's why there is dog food sat there. But this is my little sandwich bag that I'm going to load up. That's also the dried laundry um, that I'm going to load up. This bad boy, which is quite a good size, was from the pound shop. A pound. I'm well happy with that. And it's tea time. Kinda. This is what I'm taking on our picnic today. Um, obviously that's not food. These are these cute napkins I got. Um, it's a selection of sweeties. They're not for us. They're for my little niece. Or nieces. There's three of them. Um, unicorn foams and Harry Bow. Uh, we've got some party rings. I've got some olives. No liquid. No mess. And we've got these Mr. Kipling strawberry and cream fancies. They're the pink ones. Banana. Uh, we've got these sea salted savoury crackers. Carrot sticks. Um, in there there are falafels and some of those laughing cow light cheese square things so you can put cheese squares on those or you could smush a falafel I suppose um, and then we've got some garlic and onion dip some hummus um, and then I've done these rolls they have got pastrami spinach and mustard and then um, we've got some pasta which is done in a white sauce with chicken leftover gammon and sweet corn. Hi guys! Yo! And it is half past two and we are on the way to meet up with uh, Laura, Ted and the girls and uh, do this family... is it called a family fun day or just a fun yeah, day? Family fun day. Family fun day so there's uh, Teddy Bear's picnic don't quite know what that involves, but apparently the little ones have all picked a teddy to bring. Um, and there are some fair rides and things, so yeah, it should be fun. Um, and there are fireworks in the evening, which me and John are kind of looking forward to, aren't we? Yeah. It's one of those things, because of Darwin and Gilly, we never get to enjoy fireworks, so it's always quite stressful. But this is further enough away from our house for it not to affect them. And obviously that does give me the pang because obviously it will affect other people's dogs. No, it won't because it's in the middle of a massive field in the middle of nowhere. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I it's just... On a, it's on a race course. Oh, I it's just... On a point to point race course. It's miles away. I mean, the nearest house to that will be a farm somewhere. Okay. And then them dogs are used to hearing like bags anyway because of the cross carers and guns and whatnot. Okay, all right. Miles I'll... away from anywhere. That makes me feel a lot better actually because I was feeling a little bit like, like yeah, a bad not, person. Not, not, it's not going to us, so I'm not bothered. Yeah, I did kind of feel like a bad person, so that makes me feel about a lot better. But yeah, so that is what we are off to do. Um, we're meeting at a place called Kingsley Village, which is normally where me and John go for coffee. Are we having coffee? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. This thing started, did it start at two or half two? Half past two. So it started at half two, but because of John's work commitments, we, we knew we wouldn't get there for the start of it. But, um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope it should be a good afternoon and evening. band it's kind of very 
1950s, 1960s music. Rock and roll. Yeah, and it's like school. fireworks aren't until like half ten, so it's like it's getting a bit chilly. It's not really our music taste, so we decided to come home, um, see the poopies. But yeah, I had a lovely, lovely woo, afternoon. Ran around like a bit of a, a silly thing playing chase with the little ones and yeah perfect weather for it sunny warm but not too warm so really really great day really well organized as well yeah it was yeah. like really well organized but yes so we are now on the way home hey guys and we are home and i have comfy top on hair up we nipped to audi on the way home because I've had the uh, Pims and we had no lemonade, um, so that's what we did. However, I came in, I sat on the sofa and fell asleep for like 15-20 minutes, I reckon. All that fresh air and running around has definitely taken it out of me. But yes, I'm going to go make myself a Pims. Are we going to watch a movie? What are we going to do, Pickle? Oh. Oh. oh yeah, I cut my talons. I broke this one Father's Day weekend and I've been super gluing it to keep everything else long but the glue was just getting on my nerves. So that is cut basically where the split was and I had to cut everything else down to kind of, so it didn't look stupid. But yeah, right, I'm going to make a pims and a cheeky scone and then we're going to watch some telly. 